Hey y'all, I accidentally created the most fabulous thing. I'm so stinking excited. I, I can't, I just can't even. It's like it was screaming. This is what it was for. And okay, let me show you. Let me show you. So you know how over here my husband has been working on slowly trimming back this row of viburnum bushes that turned into trees. So we have two more to go. But my crop cage was over there and the way these two are going to fall when we, um, the way these two are going to fall when we take it down would be right on top of my crop cage. So I had to move it. Now, originally I was just going to kind of flip it over and get it over beside my greenhouse. But, you know, if the, the tree, that wouldn't leave the trees much room to fall <laughs> and not hit them. Cause you know, we're, I'm not the greatest because I'm the one that pulls them, pulls them down with the rope when my husband cuts them. <laughs> and, you know, I, I could easily miss and destroy my crop cage. So I had to get it completely out of there. So that being said is I kind of had to half take it apart. And I was like, well, where am I going to stick it? Well, where I stuck it is where I should have put it all along. And I absolutely love it. I just can't even right now. Hang on a second. Ta-da! Now, what is so fabulous about it being over here? Well, this is where I have all my potted host plants, my potted wild limes, my potted balloon milkweed. I've got some potted maypop passion vine. So I can keep all my potted plants in there. And when I find caterpillars in my garden, I'm just pop them in there. I'm going to go around the edge and dig down so the bottom pole will be kind of underground and it'll keep lizards from being able to crawl up under there. But look at this. Look how cool this will be in here. I still have to decorate, you know. See the beam going across the middle. I'll need to dig that down. You can see how high up it is in the center. So I still have work to do. But then I can look at what she's doing out there. My little digger. But then I can arrange all these things in here. And I've got some stones so I can make a little walkway. And get in. And I'm even, I think, going to put a chair in here so I can sit in here. And then, as butterflies eat clothes, you know, they'll be in here flying around. I'll just be able to um, catch them and release them. How cool is this going to be? Oh, okay. So I've got some work to do. I'll come back and check in and let you see my progress. The digging around, not going to be so fun, but I'll be on my knees and off my foot. So it's a good project for me today. It's a good project. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now look who's in my garden. So beautiful. I released this little one yesterday. I didn't get to film it, but I'm pretty certain this is it. And I am so happy it decided to come back and visit. It's a beautiful spice bush swallowtail. Y'all, the trees are down. They're down right here. It's a good thing that I moved the crop cage because <laughs> it would have been mush. So now my husband gets the fun job of uh, trimming this all out <laughs> and cleaning up. But it's done. Y'all, I was just in the house cooking my dinner and I saw a fluttery shadow in here. Look, 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 look. Like I checked earlier when I came in from gardening and there was nobody in here. So I don't know where this little one was hiding. But we're going to go set it free. 
There's still lots of good sunshine out. It's nice and warm. It's actually a male and it's in the Duranta. It's hidden back in there. Let's see if we can get a good view. There you are, beautiful. So I'm just going to leave it there for now because it seems pretty safe tucked deep in there and it can decide what it's going to do from there. And I'm going to go get back to my dinner. Bye sweetness. Maybe I'll see you in my garden tomorrow. Hey y'all, I am going to walk down and show you Get can you... Okay, I think they're done now <laughs> I am going to walk down and show you what I've been calling my Caterpillar Haven. You're not going to believe what I did with that crop cage. I still can't believe what I did with it. I didn't buy one new thing. Not one new thing. That whole little creation down there is the stuff I already had. And it all came from just having to move it out of the way so we could take down those trees. And where I ended up sticking it to get out of the way, I fell in love with it there. I always say... Just start moving stuff around makes a big difference <laughs> wait do you see this but first i have to show you some other fabulous things so i know there's a lot of talking right now i'm sorry i'll move around so you can see more of the garden okay um i sent my husband to lowe's this morning to stop there um and pick up some fertilizer for me after he went to the gym and he came home with the most fabulous thing. I guess it was on sale and he knew we needed it. I needed it because he always helps me load plants in the car. So here we go. Let me show you. Look at this. It's a gorilla cart. So I guess he saw it while he was at Lowe's and it was on sale and he decided to get it. So now we can haul the plants from here up to the truck when we take them to the nectary to sell them. And even better, Ray Ray, say hi. Okay, even better, since he bought it, he's going to assemble it. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm heading down to the Caterpillar Haven. I'm just dying right now. Okay, I'm going to flip the view so you can see it, and then I'll, I'll take you inside on, on a tour. <laughs> Look at this. So it's totally enclosed. And I still got to do a little work with the stepping stones. But these are all the stones that were just here. And I've got two chairs in there. So when my friend comes and flies in, you know who you are, to come and sit with me in my garden and visit, I put a chair for you and a chair for me. And we're going to unzip. And anyone else who wants to come visit me, come visit me. And have a seat in the Caterpillar Haven. Now, why is this a Caterpillar Haven? Because it's filled with potted host plants. And caterpillars. Is this not fabulous? I just come sit out in my chair and surrounded, and I'm surrounded by <laughs> caterpillars. Look at, look! <laughs> and they're protected. Look at them. They got this whole plant and they're all here together. And they're protected somewhat in here, but yet it's like they're outdoors. Is this not fabulous? And I can zip the door closed 
and Ray can come in and I'm gonna put some weights on the bottom of the flap so it'll stay down but oh my gosh and how long have I had this crop cage thing sitting here how long and I can look out and see my garden and I can chat with my friend or my dog oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it I love it <laughs> Yeah, I think I could just sit in here all day. I could just sit in here and read a book. And just glance at caterpillars and butterflies that might fly through my garden. <laughs> like, maybe we'll start a thing. Like, little caterpillar havens in your backyard. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, on to other things. I also want to say that I can't get over the difference having that row of tall trees gone. I mean, they're still there, but now they're the bushes they were meant to be. And my husband's going to trim them up and kind of make them more even. But, and listen to my dog. Look at the sky that I get now. And over kind of at that angle is where the sun sets. So when the sky is all those beautiful colors, like I would come out and it would be blocked by that. And now I have the view. And the sunlight is going to add to my garden. Incredible. And then we still have a lot of cleanup to do, but it'll get done. Hey y'all, I'm here in my indoor growing slash yoga room and I just want to show you a couple updates of a few little things and things that are cute and adorable and future butterflies. So first thing is I planted these seedlings with you guys a few weeks ago and look, I've got some coyote thistle and water cowbane and Stokes aster seedlings coming up. So excited about that. And over here, nothing. <laughs> no purple coneflower, no rattlesnake snake master, but I'm not giving up, not giving up. And then in this one, it looks like we've got one Eliatris coming up. One. That's okay. That's okay. It's all good, and so far none, and so far none of the parsley. But last time I did parsley, it took forever. So we'll see. Next, look at all these guys. All of my monarchs are either in chrysalis form or J-hanging. And this one in the corner, it looks like it's going to be closing soon. And then, cute as can be, and then cute as can be is my little guy right here. I brought him from the nectary. Look at how much his color has changed. I read that their colors change based on um, whether they're eating more leaves or flowers. And if they're eating more leaves, they'll be more green. And if they're eating more of the yellow flowers, They'll be more yellow. This little guy has grown so much over the past few days. Hey y'all, I'm just out here in my garden. It's um, Tuesday after work, sitting and enjoying and still thinking about how surprised I am that I just am not regularly seeing butterflies, particularly the golf fritillary. Like the golf fritillary is one of the first ones I usually see. And my husband and I were talking about and we're worried that maybe the all these freezing temperatures got them. So I was just exploring in my garden and I came across this. This is a Maypop passion vine, and on it is a very, very, very tiny golf fritillary caterpillar. How adorable is that? This little one is going inside where it can definitely become a butterfly. Now I'm going to go look and see if I can find more. I 
found two more. So now I have three sweet little babies. For sure, definitely, there's going to be some golf fritillaries in my garden. <laughs> and look at this. Some of my cosmos are so close to having flowers. And they're just, they're coming up everywhere. Look, there's even some coming up under my chair. I didn't even put seeds there, but I'll take it. And here's one here that is blooming. The little orange ones, they've been here, but the little white one is one of the newer varieties I just recently planted. Yeah, let me tell you. There is nothing like a good exploration in your garden after work to just let everything go that you need to let go of and relax and enjoy your life. And as I was just coming in thinking, you know, I do need to go in and have some dinner. I stopped at my little collection, there they are, of, um, bronze fennel and dill. I thought, you know, I'm just going to look. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Eggs. Eastern black swallowtail eggs. I think there's like four or five of them. I, I can't even believe it. I've got one giant swallowtail egg. Still hasn't done anything. I've got that sulfur caterpillar. I just found those three little golf fritillaries. It's happening. It's happening. Made my evening. Let me go show you those eggs. There's an egg right there. And there's another little egg. I think there's four of them. And I just cannot get over this day of coming home and finding three sweet baby golf fritillary caterpillars and eastern black swallowtail eggs. That is just what I needed. I have to say, sometimes I believe as much as I help these little caterpillars thrive and survive and become butterflies, I think they help me exponentially more. It's two little girls. How sweet is that? And y'all look, my little sulfur is jay hanging. Oh my gosh, there's just been so much excitement over the last few days. I am so glad I'm back into the butterfly season. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday evening and <laughs> I have something awesome to show you. I feel like that's what I've been saying this whole video, but that's fabulous because it's fabulous. You see what's hanging up there? I'll take you in and show you. Ta-da! Have I said I'm in love with this place? And look, look right over here, look. Look at the sweetness. And here's another one here. This one's getting really big. Like, it should be going off to pupate soon two. Oh, look at, and there's two more down here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, yo, look, there's another caterpillar up on the, up on the roof. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sitting in here, and I just look over here, and 
look who I see. Is that not something? Sweet little golf fritillary caterpillar out here already in the enclosure. <laughs>